Hello, welcome to another video on using Smartsheet. Today, I'm going to show you how you can count the number of times a contact shows in a range of um, cells that are in a multi-contact column. So, in this example, we have a column with task ID, so a list of various tasks. And I have a multi-contact column with the names of people who have been assigned to each task. I've already put the formula in here for John's assignments. And it evaluates to five. So if we count this, one, two, three, four, five. So John Smith appears five times in this list of tasks. So I'll show you how that formula works. And to start, I'm just going to copy this over uh, to this Joe's cell and I'll go through this. So we're using a count if function um, as well as a has function. And I'll show you how these are used together. The count if function takes a range. In this case, I put the full range of persons assigned the whole column. So, um, so that way, if you add more tasks, you can, they'll count as well. Um, if you just want a small range, of course, you can select only you know, a limited number of cells if you wish. And then count if takes a criterion. And in the criterion, we're going to use the has function. And so the has function is used for um, identifying elements or finding elements within a multi-select column, whether that's a, a multi-select drop-down or a multi-select contact column. And so the arguments for the has function is your search range and your criteria. So in this formula for the, the search range, you have to use at cell. And what that means is it's telling Smartsheet to look at a specific cell within this range. So the count if function tells Smartsheet to look at this entire range. And the has function evaluates each cell within that range for your given criteria. So a criteria in this case is John Smith because we copied it over. But I'm going to go ahead and change that to Joe Smith. And when we save that, it evaluates the four. So if we count Joe's name, one, two, three, four, he's assigned a four task. And I'll go ahead and do this again for uh, myself, Smartsheet Guru. And it looks like I'm assigned to six tasks. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a pretty simple formula. I think the um, advanced part of it is just understanding the difference between looking at a whole range versus looking at um, a single cell within the range. Um, you know, I think it, it, intuitively you may want to put the whole range again in this has function, but you have to use the at cell. Um, to make it work because you, the, the has function needs to evaluate, you know, each cell by itself, whereas the count if function is evaluating over the whole range. So, uh, you know, a good use for this would be if you use these in a uh, sheet summary, um, these formula, the same formula work in a sheet summary. Um, I just put it in these columns here uh, to make the tutorial easier. All right, thank you for watching. I hope this helps.